Okay, so first, what I have to do is to put the trichlorium ferrite in the in the tank, and I keep it in this glass container. And as you see, it's very dark here. It's very dark, and at the bottom there is this yellow sludge or something. I don't know the, the name of this. It's like uh, of, I don't know the thing that falls down that are heavier and goes down. I don't know the name. Sorry. And I usually agitate with this stick, and it becomes it, it gets this typical color of the trichlorium ferrite. But I am not really sure if this is this is proper to do. I don't know if this sludge is good for the solution or not. This is something that someone that knows about chemistry should be able to answer to me. And if anyone is kind, please tell me what this sludge is and if I should uh, agitate the solution or not. So, it's ready. Okay, I was just about to pour the chemical in the in the bath. This is not a difficult job to do. So, this is one liter. It's something like uh, 950 milliliters of etching uh, solution. And now the only thing that I have to do is to turn on the heater here I turn it on and I wait it's 20, 22 degrees and now I wait until it goes to 40 something Okay, so as you see now, the temperature is 44 degrees Celsius, the solution is ready, you see the agitation, works pretty well, okay, and now I have prepared a PCB for this test, with my UV box with LEDs. It's this PCB. This is from a new project that I make right now. The key lock with the touchpad and this is the controller for the key lock. For the key code lock. It's for the PIC 16F 1937 and I put it inside and now I wait for the etching solution to work. Look how fast the etching is now working. We have some copper here. I dip it inside. And this is the good thing about the agitation and the, uh, the temperature. Look at the process. The board is ready. So now I have to take it out carefully. I use always this uh, paper. And uh, when you do this work, you always must have paper with you. And ah, of course, always wear plastic gloves. Never do this without the gloves because you don't know what may happen. So this is the board. Then I go to clean it with water. So, I think that uh, that's enough for this project. Thank you for watching this video. 
and don't forget to visit my website for more interesting projects.